Central readers, it's Mrs. Dion. This week for story, I'm going to read you one of the newer books we have in the library, and it's called The Clothesline, written and illustrated by Orby. In this book, the main character, Reggie, lives above a corner store with his mom. Every day, he does a little bit of chores and gets a special allowance where he goes down to the store and buys himself a little treat. One day, on his way to the store, he gets stuck into a little dilemma. And a dilemma means a difficult problem. Will Reggie be able to figure out the dilemma on his own? Or will he have to wait for someone to come help him? Let's hear this story and see what happens. If you like this story when it's done, remember you can borrow it from the library by requesting it as a hold or you can also read the story on epic.com. I hope you enjoy it. The Clothesline by Orby. My name is Reggie. I'm five years old. I live here above the corner store. It's handy because when I get my allowance, I don't have to go far to buy treats. My mom gives me an allowance for doing chores around the house. She calls me her big helper and she gives me her change. I zip down the stairs really fast, just like a superhero. Tip, 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 tip. But not if mom's watching because it would scare her. On the way down, I like to give the knot in the clothesline a good yank. Tip, 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 tip. I can't help it. Tip, tip. I love the sound it makes. This morning, I helped mom pick up my toys and I vacuumed. I like helping mom. She must have been happy with my work because she gave me 30 cents, three dimes. I was excited about all the candy I could buy. I ran down the stairs even faster than usual. Tap, 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 tap. Maybe too fast. Tap, tap, tap because I lost my footing. Just as I grabbed onto the knot in the clothesline, squeak, 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 whizz. Uh-oh. My name is Reggie. I'm five years old and I'm stuck in the middle of a clothesline. This is what mom would call a dilemma. Either a fall because my left hand is already telling me that I'm too heavy for it to hold up, or I help my left hand with my right, but then I'd have to drop my three dimes. Ouch. Uh, I decide to try holding on with both hands without letting go of my money. That doesn't work. Clink, clink, clink. So I shout for help as loud as I can. Help me! Mom, help! Save me, I'm stuck! Mom, help me! Ah! Mommy! As loud as I'm scared, as loud as I'm mad that I dropped my 30 cents. Mom, but nobody hears me. Mom, not even my mom, who can usually hear mischief from a mile away. What do I do now? I don't cry, at least not very much. Ooh, if I can get over to that pole, I can climb down from there. Hmm, hmm. 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 <sighs> I haven't budged. So I wait. Wait for someone to walk by, for someone to see me, for someone to save me. But nobody comes. Well, almost nobody. Meow. Hey there. Hey, have you come to save me? You're probably wondering what I'm doing up here. 
I'm asking myself the same question. My hands hurt. Ouch. I'm scared of plunging to my death. Ouch. There are people usually walking by. Where are they now? It's been a long time. I'm tired. No one's coming. The only way to get down is to let go of the knot. I don't have a choice. Gulp. In five, four, three, two, one. Ah, I can't do it. I'm too scared. Mommy. At some point, she'll notice I haven't come back. It's been a really long time since I left. Why doesn't she realize I'm gone? Mother! Mommy! Mom! Mom! Ah! Ah! It's over. Ow! The next week, my name is Reggie, tap, tap. I'm five years old. When I go down the stairs now, tap, tap, tap. I look at the knot in the clothesline, but I don't touch it. Even though I miss the sound it makes, the end.